A lot of people talk about getting into the game, talk about flipping houses. What about building new houses, man? Is building new houses something that new folks could do? I have a client. His name is Alfred. He's interested in flipping this particular property. But the thing is, Alfred, you're not able to flip it. you got to tear the sucker down and build it new. And you're a brand-new cat. So I'm about to walk you through whether or not that is actually feasible for somebody like you. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here for people like you, people like my guy Alfred, right? I am an expert in the Cleveland area, right? I've sold $200 million worth of real estate. I run a $75 million rental portfolio. I know a thing or two about the business. Now, Alfred, you sent me this particular house, okay? And uh, I just actually got finished analyzing another deal you sent me, and that was just like in a dog shit fucking neighborhood, right? That was a horrible deal all the way around. Uh, you totally flipped the script here, though. You actually invested in an incredibly popular neighborhood on the west side, right? The address is 2825 York Avenue, Cleveland. Uh, it's listed at 74.9. It's been on the market for 26 days. This particular neighborhood. All right, you're seeing a lot of new development. You're seeing a ton of gentrification. Like, people talk about Cleveland. They talk about the resurgence of Cleveland. This is the neighborhood they're talking about, right? Like, you know, you actually got several, right? Like, it's like on the border of, like, Ohio City coming up into Tremont. But it's like Ohio City, and then Tremont's another one that's amazing. Detroit Shoreway, you get a lot of good stuff in Edgewater, right? So this is where the big money uh, is, the big the big fancy new builds are. That's where people are doing the tax abatements. You got some, like, A-grade new construction coming in over there, right? So you're on the right target, Alfred. You saw this. You're like, well, hell, dude, 75K in that neighborhood. Hey, there might be an opportunity here. So you're on the right track, brother. But unfortunately for you, this one's going to be too advanced. Uh there's freaking real estate gurus out there that are telling you guys this, telling you guys that. It's just a fluff fest, right? I don't do a fluff fest here at Holton Wise TV. I cut it to you straight, guys. That's the thing. Holton Wise, we're the real fucking deal, right? I got a fucking $75 million portfolio down here in Cleveland. Anybody that's in the Cleveland area, you drive down, you know, the Cleveland neighborhoods, you're going to see my trucks, my signs, all the fucking place, right? We actually walk the walk. We're not just gurus selling books and shit, okay? Here's the deal. If this was something that you could do like a $75,000 renovation on or a $150,000 renovation on and buy it for this price, yeah, you'd be in the money. It'd be a good deal. Unfortunately, you can't. Uh, the background in this particular property, it's an agent-owned property. It's condemned, and the city wants it torn down. They want new development there, which is cool for developers because you also get a 15-year tax abatement. That means no taxes need to be paid on the building. You do have to pay it on the land, but it'd be like nothing if you bought it at 75 k uh, So you could end up with like a $600,000 property and be paying almost nothing in taxes, right? Uh, for the next 15 years. It'd be great for owner-occupants, some hipster-type folks, uh, yuppie kind of people. Uh, it would make a great Airbnb. But that's the thing, Alfred. This ain't a fluff fest. You ain't there yet, brother. You got to walk before you could run. Uh, and you are nowhere near set up to be able to do ground-up new construction, right? You got to go through the city. You got to get zoning approval. You got to do this. You got to do that. You got to spend a lot of money. Uh, you are working with 35K, but you don't even actually have 35K in cash. You're getting a cash advance uh, from a credit card company, try, trying to do like a 12-month, like no interest, same as cash type joint. And then you got a couple private, uh, private like investor guys that want to loan you some money. Uh, this ain't the fucking deal for all that, dude. You got to be like sophisticated and, and know what you're doing to develop ground up real estate. It ain't easy, okay? It, it's not easy. At Alton Wise. Uh, we've built a couple homes, right, uh, here and there. We've dabbled in it, but we are by no means uh, in the business of building houses, so we wouldn't be much help for you. And it is not something newbies can do. And if you are going to try to do it, become a new developer, folks, you got to have a lot of money. So I'm not going to sit here and fluff you up, Alfred, and tell you I think that's a good idea. Uh, risk every dollar you have and more and risk bankruptcy by trying to pull something out of here. This ain't the move, bro. Uh, let's let 
some other people who have experience in this, uh, you know, try to take something like this down. If you're going to do fix and flips as a new investor, especially a new investor out of state, you got to focus on something small, something cookie cutter, cookie cutter. Like what you're looking for, bro, is something that's got decent bones. You throw in some new paint, a new kitchen, a new bath, new flooring, flip it around, call it a day. This one, uh, I, I would be lying to you if I told you I thought this was any level of practicality of it working for you. It's, it, it's like me, right? Like if I just go pick up a basketball uh, after work today and I shoot some hoops with my son who's like three, uh, you know, I'll probably beat his fucking ass because he's a fucking three-year-old. Uh, but – I don't think I could then go play one-on-one -on -one with LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would be insanity for me to think, oh, since I could pick up this basketball, I could just go do what the pros do, right? You know what I'm saying? So that would be, like, akin to a brand-new, uh, more or less cash-poor investor trying to, to do ground-up infill construction in a highly regulated place like Cleveland. That would essentially be like a short, fat, ball guy like me beating a toddler in basketball and then thinking they could uh, play against LeBron James. It just wouldn't fucking happen. It's just not practical. Uh, so, brother, I'm going to save you some money, some time, some heartache, some effort, and tell you we got to move on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.